Hey, Sneaky Nails back. Yeah, I'm back with Fosser Pup 64, of course. Had it running for around about ooh, 10 weeks now off a USB stick. I use it a couple of times a week. And it's not going to be a review of it as such, because other people have done it. And it's basically the same as Bionic, it's just a few extras and a few other bits and pieces. There's some things I did want to show you, though. Okay, the first is, if you go to Install, and you go to Install Applications, and then you go to the Yeah Puppy Yeah Package Manager, this will come up, and most of you will recognise it. It's easy peasy, yeah? Okay. What you really want to do before you start using it, so all your packages are updated, if you click on here, and you can see I'm wiggling around here, configure your package manager, you'll need to update your database. And all you do is click there, and it will run through some scripts, and within a couple of minutes, they're all updated, and you'll get all the newest software from Focal, okay? So that's that bit out of the way. That's the main one I wanted to show you, okay? Secondly, if you install LibreOffice, which I have here, and here we have LibreOffice, if I click on the minimize, or not maximize, when you first run it, it might come up just like that, okay? A tiny thing, and you're saying, well, how do I get it to open fully? Well, you just have to drag it down, okay? Drag it down. And it'll be the same for the Calc program as well. It will be in that tiny bit up in the corner. I'll show you one more time, okay? So we drag it up. It will look like that, or it might not even be there at all, or it'll just be so, so tiny. All you have to do is drag him out, okay? and he's all done. That's number two out of the way. Number three I want to really show you was about Quick Pet. If you've not used Puppy before, or any of the recent puppies, you must, and you must, update it every time, okay? Now, you don't have to do this every day. No, you don't have to do it every day. It's going to be a bit slow, don't worry, I'm running off a wireless. I would say do it once a month, just in case there's an update, okay? And it might be, and there may not. As you can see, all these are done for me already, because I've done them already, which was good, okay? Secondly, most of the stuff in here does work correctly this time around. Yeah, it does. I mean, that last one, listen to, never heard of it, but hey, it's there for you. If I go to net, this all works for you. Everything actually worked. I'm actually going to try the chirp, actually, for a Twitter client. I don't know. You can get LibreOffice from here, but I didn't. I went to the main menu and that way. I will show you that in a second. Uh, Spotify works. Works super fine. Yeah, it does. If you're running from a USB stick, though, you may want to leave it open for a while, because obviously Spotify, especially if you're a premium user, wants to download music to your hard drive, your USB stick, or whatever you're running it from. Okay. Uh, lastly, for Quick Pet is, yes, the NVIDIA drivers do work correctly. I'm running them now, okay? So that just goes to show. It does, it does make it really, really easy. And almost finally, oh, there's a translate program also that I forgot to show you. That's another one. If you're running it from a USB stick, use the whole install, don't use the folder. The folder's a pain, really. This one's a folder, so I might change it again. But because I only use it a couple of times a week, it's not so bad, really. Okay, not so bad. Oh, yeah, before we go, if we go to menu, Go to Documents. This is how I installed LibreOffice, and you get a choice of three. I went with LibreOffice 7. Works super fine, as you can see. It was super duper. But yeah, it runs fine. I can't really knock anything about it, because it's just like a lot of other Linux distributions. Everything just works mainly, okay? And I wouldn't say I would have said that ten years ago about any Linux distribution. But everything's here that you need. The bits and bobs you do need to download are really easy to do, so yeah. Go and keep it going. Oh yeah, Steam does work, my 3D printer program works, my slices work, it all works. So it's a really, really good backup. So yeah, that's about 10, 12 weeks on. Sneaky Linux out. I suppose, by the way.